Okay, John, let's give this one a try. Hopefully this will help you. This one says, oh, I forget which number you asked for. Well, this is number three. I think it's less than 76. Number three, you know which one it is. This one says four consecutive integers. So it doesn't say consecutive even or consecutive odd. So you just want consecutive integers. So x is the first consecutive integer. x plus 1 equals the second consecutive integer. x plus 2 equals the third. And x plus 3 is the fourth. It's really important that you set up your heading to do consecutive integer numbers. So here's our four consecutive integers. If it would have said even or odd integers, you would have had x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6. But it just says consecutive. Now you have to follow along with the words of the sentence. Find four consecutive integers such that three times the sum of the first and the third. Well, here's the first. And here's the third. So three times the sum, so three times the sum, so you need parentheses, of the first and the third is, so that's your equals, 84 greater. If it says greater or less than, you need to put it at the end. 84 greater than the opposite of the second. Well, let's find our second here. Here's our second. We don't say anything about the fourth. Unless I copied something wrong. I copied this problem from the book. So it's 84 greater than the opposite of the second. So it's the opposite, so you have to use the negative sign before it. That means the opposite of the second. That's really tricky right here. This means opposite. You don't want to just be the opposite of the first number of the of the binomial. It has to be the opposite of the entire thing. So now, once you get it set up correctly, I think you're probably fine, but we'll keep going. This is 3 times 2x plus 2 equals minus x minus 1, distribute that, plus 84. 6x plus 6 equals minus x plus 83. And then we're going to put our x's on one side, so if I add x to both sides, I'm going to get 7x. And if I add 7 to this side, or subtract 6 from this side, shall I say. So if I subtract, let's see, I hope I copied this problem now, right? Yeah, this works. So we get 77, perfect. And we get x equals 11. So that's our first number, is 11. Add 1, 12. Add another one that's 13. Add another one that's 14. So I'm sending you this link for this problem, and then I did another one similar to this for my algebra class. I'll send you that link. It's the first problem on the other video. So hopefully that answered your question.